Hey, it's Dusty Thunder again, and I've got another Reddit AITA story for you. Am I the astronaut for telling my mom to give my sister her daughter back? This requires some context, so I'll keep it short. I, 18 female, have a twin sister, 18 female, who's had the same boyfriend since freshman year. He's also 18. He comes from a wealthy family and had a career lined up for him the day he graduated. My sister is actually pretty responsible. So is he. Which is why it was a shock to everyone when she revealed that she was pregnant. She swears they always used protection, and I believe her. She's not the type to skip out on that kind of stuff, nor is he. Well, for obvious reasons, she finished senior year via distance learning. The baby was born right after graduation. I should also mention they are responsible parents, even though they're young. About two weeks ago, her boyfriend started his new job, and they're about four hours away. They moved and have been done for almost two weeks now. They agreed to leave the baby here, I still live at home with my mom, while they move everything. I FaceTime my sister every day and she shows me her daughter's room, and it's beautiful. She tells me how much she misses her. Two days ago, just over a week of moving, my sister told my mom she's going to come get her. My mom said no, and that she abandoned her, and that she's a gold digger. What? Then her boyfriend called, and my mom said the same thing. They've been going back and forth for two days. My sister called me a few hours ago and said she's not playing any more games with mom and that tomorrow she's waking up at 4 a.m., driving down here to demand her daughter back, and if my mom doesn't give her up, she says she'll get the police involved, get attorneys involved, and do whatever it takes to be reunited with her daughter. After that conversation, I went downstairs to talk to my mom. I said she should give my sister her daughter back. She said, your sister abandoned this baby. She doesn't deserve her. My mom said my sister is a gold digger and if she wanted her kid, she would have got her by now. I reminded her that she does and I warned my mom that if she doesn't give it to her nicely, my sister is not going to be so nice about it. But then my mom said, just mind your business. And to be honest, she kind of had a point. This isn't my business. She also said that the baby is what brings her joy and she feels a special connection with her that she guarantees my sister doesn't have. I warned her one last time, mom, don't do this, my sister's name, is not messing around and this will get ugly. And that was that. I'm starting to think I was wrong to inject myself. It isn't my business, but my sister is right. She deserves her child back and I did witness the conversation of my mom offering to watch the child while they moved. Am I the ass cannot? Update, it is 8.13 right now where I am and my sister came and got her daughter. My mom did resist though. She said, you're too young to be parents and gave her the speech about their special connection. And my sister said, I'm not leaving this house without my daughter. Sister threatened to call the police and then mom walked outside to call her friend or something and my sister just went upstairs into my mom's room, picked up her daughter and ran out. She is gone now, but I'm meeting her for breakfast soon while she's in town. Mom is crying saying, my daughter is heartless and is too young to be a mom. That's all. Just wanted you all to know my niece is safely reunited with her mother and soon her father as well. Holy shit. Um, wow. Okay. Uh, there's some things going on in this story that might lead me to believe that the mother is, is maybe crazy. Crazy is a term that I don't really think should be used lightly, and I'm not using it lightly here. To not understand that by agreeing to watch a child and then refusing to give that child back is considered kidnapping is a big red flag from mom. And mom, we talk about this a lot, is allowed to feel however she wants. Acting on feelings is a completely different issue. Saying that she's not going to give a child back to its mother, even if she is the grandmother, that doesn't give her the right to withhold the child. Her daughter is a legal adult. Holy crap. She very well could have ended up getting arrested here. Yes, they're young. People have kids too young all the time. It sounds like at least these two kids are being responsible. They moved to give the child a better life because they were moving for the father's job. They already have the baby's room set up. They just couldn't move and care for a baby at the same time, which is where mom came in. Well, guess what, grandma? You're never going to babysit again because you just tried to kidnap their kid holy shit the funniest part about all of this is that her special connection that she acted on and tried to kidnap her grandbaby is going to keep her from ever being able to see that grandbaby again what good does that special connection do you if you can never have a relationship with the kid period because you tried to take the kid from her mom how did she not think about that how in that moment was she like oh this is fine nothing bad will happen Nothing bad will happen when I refuse to give the baby back. I'll be allowed to have a long and fruitful relationship with this kid. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand any of this. I don't know shit about 
Uh, this sounds like a nightmare. And OP, I think you did the right thing. You gave the mom warnings. And she still ignored them, but you gave her warnings. Also, if this did become a legal issue, you would be the one witness to the conversation where she agreed to watch the kid. So you were involved. Whether you liked it or not, whether mom liked it or not, you were involved. You did the right thing, and you ensured that the right thing was going to happen. So um, this isn't over. And I think that's the one point here. You're 18, and uh, this is going to be drama for the rest of your life. So just get ready. It ain't going to be pretty. Good luck.